I was reading the paper a while back and came across this item from the Associated Press, Dateline College Park, Maryland. Astronomers at the University of Maryland say the discovery of a new dwarf galaxy, 55,000 light years from the sun, could lead to new information about our own Milky Way. Dr. S. Christian Simonson III, discoverer of the new galaxy, said it's the nearest galaxy yet found to the Milky Way and could lead to more accurate estimates of the size of our own cluster of stars. The newly found galaxy, named Snickers, contains about 200 million stars, one-tenth of one percent of the 200 billion stars in the Milky Way. It's about 55,000 light years from the sun, a light year being the distance light travels in a year at a speed of 186,000 miles per second. Simonson, who announced his discovery, said it will take a few years to determine accurately how far away Snickers is from the Milky Way. But once that's accomplished, he said, scientists can use the data to better determine the mass of the Milky Way. Right now, we know it only within 20%, Simonson said. Snickers got its name after Simonson's colleagues jokingly said it was like the Milky Way, only peanuts. Simonson said the stellar body had gone unnoticed because it's hidden from view by dense star fields and cosmic dust clouds. A well-written story by the Associated Press, a fine organization which appeared on page 20 of the newspaper I was reading. Snickers, a new galaxy with 200 million stars, but only one-tenth of one percent of our galaxy, the Milky Way, which has 200 billion stars. Now, does that affect you the way it affects me? Our great sun, which lights, warms, and provides all life on this planet of ours, is just one of 200 billion stars in our galaxy. And our galaxy is only one of perhaps 200 billion galaxies or more in the limitless universe. Well, that kind of information has a wonderfully calming effect on me. Petty problems and concerns drop away into the black void of space. It makes you understand why astronomers tend to reach such ripe old ages. Because if you know anything at all about astronomy, which knows very little about the universe, and is quick to cheerfully admit it, you know enough to be relatively unconcerned about what happens here on this infinitesimal small speck of dust on the window pane of what we call creation. What we have here is an observation post swarming with creatures with big brains, some of whom have their eyes and cerebral cortices fixed on what we call the void of space. It isn't a void at all, since void means empty. It's just so big we think of, as we think of bigness, that it contains billions upon billions of suns and planets swirling without end, a music we can't hear or comprehend. Think about this new galaxy, which we've irreverently named Snickers. Think about it with its 200 million stars, about 55,000 light years from our little sun, a neighbor who's been hiding there all along. And think of what else we're going to find.